Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X Wonderlock. I fixed some of the problems we had with last episode, so hopefully this one will be much better. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, here we are in Route 2. For those of you who did not watch last episode, I managed to go through all the tutorials this game had to offer, caught a couple Pokemon, and went through our first couple Wonder Trades, and received a Froakie and a Gasly. Now off screen, I did some training to them, so they won't be so weak today, and you may not be able to see it from the bottom screen, but Froakie, I leveled up to level 5, and has Water Pulse, Round, Smoke Screen, and Bubble. Not bad. I had I chose to give it a fling because it wouldn't help us at all during this game. And Gashly got to level 4, but had no change in his moves. He still has Hypnosis and Lick. And today we're going to head in to Santa Loon Forest, if, that's, if I believe that's what it's called. So let's just go. Come on. As you, can, as you saw, we got Shauna right here. He's going to find a cute Pokemon. Huh. You can try. It's all a matter of opinion. Here we go, our first trainer battle. Finally time to do this. Those of you who are playing Game Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and now aware of the news that happened today, you you might be aware that the official reveals of Mega Slowbro and Audino. Now that's really strange for some of the Megas. Mega Slowbro, he's okay. He's a Mega that most people let slide because he gets a really good boost to his defense and special attack stats. So he's a good one, but Mega Audino, n nobody saw that coming to be real in this game. All I don't know really changes up his entire appearance, coming part normal and fairy type, and he gets the ability healer, which is extremely useless in single player battles. For the first Gen 5 Mega, all I don't know is not the best one to get. For like Gen 5 Megas, I was hoping maybe a nice Golik or Barathorn Megas, because those are really good Pokemon to gain Megas for the next coming game. We just defeated the zigzag goon, got a free level right there. Not hard. Ooh, two levels. Not bad. Broken climbing the charts. Here we go, on to the Santa Saloon Forest. I could, as you guys can see, I fixed up the camera a little bit. I got a better stand for it to be on, so it'll stay much better now. Now, Sean's going to join us, unfortunately. I don't think she's going to do anything. She won't even heal up her Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get a couple of those items I got around. And there we go, right into our first Pokemon in the middle of the sentence. Pansage. Looks like some lucky person's going to be getting that. The question is, can I weaken it enough for it to stay alive? Go for a nice bubble in and see. Good, now you guys can see the health bar. Just adjusting the camera so you guys can see better. Camera is standing still, so you guys can see. I'm just in a really small area in recording, so stuff may get moved around like the DS I'm recording on. We got one wiggle, two wiggle, red wiggle, and a blue wiggle, and we got it. We got Pansage. Time to connect to the internet and trade it up. Hopefully, we'll get something interesting. Pansage, the grass monkey Pokemon. It shares the leaves on its head with wearing look Pokemon. These leaves are known to relieve stress. Oof. Might as well make Pansage the massaging Pokemon. Am I right, people? Who stress all the time? Just because I'll do I'll do some nicknames. I'll try to do some of the nicknames for these Pokemon. Just so you guys can get something.
I'm not sure if I spelled this correctly, but I nixed in this Pansage Silen. The gym, gym leader from Gen 5 who got it, who has it as his partner Pokemon. So let me connect to the internet here. We can trade it up. Yeah, so back to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. A lot of things are going to be done with it. Especially all the new Megas. And different ways of the Horde battles by being able to battle Horde trainers. Now it's in our Horde of weak Pokemon. And so it'll be a little challenging. And the cosplay Pikachu's extra moves. That's really something. All the different moves for the five cosplay Pikachu's. It's really hard to pick which one to get. I'm still stuck between the Bell Pikachu or the Rockstar Pikachu. There are so many choices to pick from. Yeah. And the, the reveal of some of the old the reveal of some of the Megas before Slowbro and Auto. I was a little surprised to see. Mega Salamance I get. And but Mega Lapenny no one's not a lot of people saw coming. I guess swap looks like we got a swap lot for the pan sage. That's definitely going to be high level, so I don't think I'll be able to keep him. So going back to Wonder Trade. But they put they put in Mega Altaria and Mega Salamant. I'm personally hoping for Mega Flygon, because I love Flygon. He's my second favorite Pokemon. And it would just be amazing for him to have a Mega. I can really imagine that. The Gen 3 Dragon Mega Trio. Yeah, the Swallow is level 30, so we cannot keep him. Going to trade. And the Shiny Belt, the I'm holding the Metagrassite, or the Metaite, or whatever you want to call it. It's really not going to make a shiny Metagross special or Mega Metagross either. Because almost because almost everyone who gets these games will be able to get them. Uh, speaking of events, currently right now in this currently right now in Pokemon X and Y, there are events going on to receive a Heracross or a Pincer through the event. And we got Pony Toss and Wonder Trade. And like you guys in the comments. To tell me if I tell me if it would be okay for me to do those event Pokemon, put them through the one to trade for people to get. I will not. I won't do it if you guys think it's good. Okay, let's check out this Ponyta here. Okay, po this Ponyta is level one with Growl and Tackle. Let me just show you. Let me just bring this DS up to show you guys. Yep, that's new Ponyta. It was just into camera, so we have full screen. That's the new member we're stuck with. So let's talk to Shana here, and she'll heal up my Pokemon. One another thing I'm really hoping that's going to return in X and Y. It is the new EXP share mechanic that, that was introduced in X and Y, giving all your Pokemon DXP for battle. Really good for training up weaker Pokemon. And especially in this especially in things like a Wonderlock, the new EXP mechanic is really going to be it really be good when you get level one Pokemon and one of you guys just died. So I just get so I was giving us an item. Uh, you got paralyzed heal. Not really going to be a problem in this game right now. They're the only electric type Pokemon around here is a Pikachu. There's battle here. Challenge by Youngster Joey. Youngster Joey's back, people. 
time to face his wrath to doom. Oh wait, no. Did not end this game. Looks like he didn't think about when they decided to put in Youngs to Joey. Youngs to Joey was definitely a really strange person. Always talk about his wrath, huh? Even after it evolved. This really makes him a strange guy. Is using gold and silver. One time, hard gold sold silver, of course. And here he is in X and Y. Not talking about the rat he does not have anymore, though. Ooh, Froki is learning quick attack. We can dump. I'll give him a round for that. Yeah, so anyway, if you guys think it's okay for me to do the event of the hair cross or pincer that we'll get in this game, just write down in the comments below to say it. If it's a yes, I'll go ahead. If it's no, then no go. We'll just ignore that event. I have not even done that event in the main game I got. Because lately I've been doing, doing my battling in Pokey Showdown. Really good. Website for the for people who just want to battle and don't want to go through all the story modes in this game. I know I've done it a couple times. I especially rock in one on one battles. I found I found like two of the really good Pokemon to do, to do that in this game. Or like in Pokey Showdown, or right, Smeargle and surprisingly a Nose Pass. Smeargle, I'll talk about. Maybe later. Nose pass. I was surprised to see. You need if you if you play Pokey Showdown and want to do level one battles. Use Nose Pass. Give it a level. Put it level one. I give it a Lumberry for a stat. Then get Pain Split because since it's level one, it will really take a bite out of your opponent's health. And then once you get them down weak enough, Toxic the hell out of them. They'll go down after you put that toxic on them in the last turn. Hmm. Got one Pokemon all over the place in the forest. Too bad we can only catch one of them. Wild Pokemon all over the place today. Scabbers and Fletchlings and Swalots. <sighs> this is the second time that I've done a Wonder Lock and received a really high level Pokemon early on in the game. Fortunately, I had to give it up. So it would be really interesting to do a really high level Pokemon. Of course, Sphere's going to give us some more balls. We have, we have more than enough though for now until we are able to buy some great balls. We're waiting for a shock. Maybe she's going to use a magic card. Shit. Yeah. It is Pikachu. Going back to cosplay Pikachu. It's really going to be a different way of Pikachu. Because you get it after participating in your first contest. And it's a special Pikachu that only that Pikachu can dress up in the costume. So you can only have, so you'll only be having one. Don't think you can have two in the party at the same time. Unless you trade over games. But Pikachu, like Pikachu wouldn't have a heart on its tail. It's really something. So, for design. Mm. <sighs> we need to get different moves. We got Rockstar Pikachu with Meteor Mash, Bill Pikachu with Icicle Clash, Popstar with Draining Kiss, Pikachu PhD with Electric Terrain, which probably no one will use. Because Electric Terrain is not really one of those moves worth using. All it does is prevent your Pokemon from falling asleep. Even your opponent's Pokemon kind of fall asleep during that. And of course, Pikachu Libre with Flying Press. 
Which I was surprised to see. So the Pikachu was a move like that. Hollow is no longer special. Because now Pikachu can fly across the sky. Pressing those people, pressing those Pokemon down. Flying press is really a strange move. Having being two types at once. It's a being a fighting being a fighting and flying type. It's strange. Really gets a lot of type coverage with Halucha. Yeah, I saw him there. I'm not really gonna go for it. Doesn't seem worth it. Oop. We got Weedle. Gonna Weedle out of this. So we've been recording for about 16 minutes. I'm gonna try to hopefully stop this video when we get to the next town. Maybe do the battle to get the roller skates, or go and head to the next route after the after the city to get a Pokemon there. So we'll have five team members when we get to the gym. Yep. <clears throat> But really, I'm back to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire once again. Not as Pokemon X Y, but come on! Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is so close. As soon as it comes out, I'm just gonna go and get him, play all day until I can complete it. Or do a playthrough on this channel if I feel like it. I think it's something that I should do. I might be done if I be done with X Pokemon X by then. So that's something I can do for the future. Yeah. That, I'm not really sure about any other future things I can do. Cause I'm covering I wanna try to cover Pokemon playthroughs for you guys. But all I really had to play these games are Oh, my 3DS, so I can't play any hacks for you guys. As much as, even though that would be really awesome, there are a lot of hacks I really would love to play, like Pokemon Sacred Gold and Bolt White and Blaze Black. I just don't have stuff to do it. Can you bench rules? Something I'm personally hoping though for Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, not Pokemon wise at all, it's trainer customization. Come on, who wouldn't want to dress up their trainers? Something that would really be cool to do is get rid of the hat entirely. I don't want to wear a hat, hats are really comfortable. Got the baby. Won't be hard to catch at all. Go for a quick, quick attack. Touch yourself all you want, little bunny. I'll catch you any other way I can. But throwing the balls at your face. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad, I know. So. But Mega Slope, bro, well, that maybe you can, maybe you get a hint that it's going to give us a Mega Slow King maybe in the future. Be a Mega Slow bro, a Mega Slow King. Come on, keep it up, guys. We want a lot of Megas in the game. <laughs> Two Megas I think that could be version exclusives. You can give us Mega Excel Gore and Mega Escavalier. You can get the version exclusive Megas right there. 
I'm gonna try to do some damage on this Burmy now so I can catch it. Of course, all it knows is flipping protect. Thank you, now we can finally do some damage on you. That seems more than enough. So let's protect again. So, Pokeball is face. There only is one Pokemon, you wonder why. There's several Pokemon you do. The Fermi changes its form out of battle. In between three different forms. If you want plant, so you can figure out wisely for your ball one to one or dab. You want yourself plant Burmy, dirty a dirty Burmy, or a cotton candy Burmy. None of them are worth it. None. Because nobody uses a Burmy, a Wormy dab or a moth thumb. I'm not gonna nickname this Burmy. Don't really have a reason to. Oop. Force into a barrel. Just gonna step out to that corner and want to shade really quick. It won't be long though. Just a Pichu. Pichu's a cute. Remember that shiny event Pichu that gave you a psyche at Pichu. That'd be really cool to transfer some Pokebank. Because the spiky Pichu is the cute one. Come on. Say it! You have to agree with me! Oh, okay. I'm gonna. We've been rolling for. for almost 20 minutes now. Probably. So I'm going to. As soon as I get to the next town, I'll stop this video. And you can hope for four Pokemon tomorrow. I'll catch another one for you guys so you have a little surprise. And, we'll t and hopefully we'll take on the gym. So first, I'll wonder trade. Overall, I'm going to trade a Ponyta until it maybe it gets a fire type attack, so we can totally sweep the entire gym with it. Of course, maybe getting a flying type acid from this Burmy. That'd be really nice, because Jimmy will have a surf skit. That would be hard for Pokemon to take on. Waiting for our trade partner to come. The trade was Char Char from Virginia. He says, no battles. No problem. I'm not really going to do any of the interactions with, the, with people around the world, battle and trade-wise. Like, oh, Almanite. Sin. Maybe sometimes I'll have some, maybe sometimes I'll have a couple friends over and they'll, and I'll have them link by with me to see how good the real team is. We got Lord Healers, people. Who hopefully won't be high level. If I recall, it's 10 levels or lower above the highest level Pokemon I got. And Lord Helix is level 1. Looks like we get to keep him. Can I see it? But he has Constrict, Withdraw, and Muddy Water. Not bad, not bad at all. We get to fight with the Lord himself. And you can't see it, but this Ponyta actually has his name spelled differently. Instead of the Y, you see his name. The guy who had, who traded me it, replaced it with an I. So it's still Ponyta, but still. Hey, watch where you're going. I'm gonna get you now. I'll go heal up Pokemon. And then end the video off for you guys. Yeah, we've been running for about the same time as the last video. If you guys notice that videos coming out, that the first episode and this one are coming out on the same day. It's because I had problems, because I have uploaded a video before. I had problems with uploading it last last night, and today I figured out the problem and I was able to upload today. Just wanted to get this other video out for you guys, so I can start going on this on a daily basis. Of course, when school starts up, I mean, 
then there might be a little problem with these videos. I'll do my best to get them out for you guys. But until the 25th, which is when I go back to school, I'll guarantee you guys daily videos. Do my best. Okay, so once again, so you guys know who to look forward to. We got Froki at level 10 with water pulse quick attack, smoke screen, and lick. Ghastly level 4 with hypnosis and lick. Got a lot of tongues on this team. Ponyta with growl and tackle, level 1. And Lord Helix himself, level 1 with constrict, withdraw, and muddy water. So I'll go back to face cam for you guys and end the video off. First, see what Betty has to say. Yeah, I can see the Pokemon idiot. Okay, once again, thanks for watching guys. And remember to like and subscribe for more YouTube videos. And write down in the comments if you think it's okay for me to do the hair across and pincer event and one to trade them off. And this is Pokemon Brothers, signing off, see you tomorrow guys.